welcome to RD News. I hope you enjoyed your holiday. I am Mwamboi Mwangi. In the headlines, the nation comes together to celebrate Mashuja Day. Briara University creatives come together to celebrate the beauty of arts. Students at Riara University learn more about the election process. Jazz Festival brought the weekend early to all jazz lovers. One for the reggae lovers, Taras Riley brings the roof down at KIC. of October, a national holiday to celebrate heroes, both fallen and alive. This year, the celebrations were held at Bukungo Stadium in Kakamega County. Our reporter Carol Stella has more on this. It is also known as Heroes Day Mashuja in Swahili. It was formerly known as Kenyatta Day in honor of the first president Jomo Kenyatta. Harambe! During the promulgation of the constitution in August 2010, it was changed to Mashuja to extend the day's meaning. From honoring only those who took part in fighting for independence to all Kenyan heroes. The background origin was the arrest of Jomo Kenyatta and five other independent leaders on 20th of October 1952, commonly known as the Kapengure Six. National celebrations are held in different parts of the country, consisting of military troops wearing colorful uniforms and a speech from the Kenyan president. As we mark Mashuja Day, a national day to reflect upon appreciate and celebrate Kenya's sung and unsung heroes and heroines. I am also delighted to deliver my sixth Mashuja Day address at this venue in Kakamega County. The heroes of Riara University are Mr. and Mrs. Gashukia. They have redefined education for us by creating a serene environment for learning in this institution. They have gifted the society with all-rounded journalists by being the only university that offers Bachelor of Communication and Multimedia Journalism. We were all excited to have the chance to celebrate our heroes. Reporting for ARIO News, I am Stella Carroll. With the upcoming elections, Riara University students got a chance to learn about the school election process. Brian Kavalaji has more on this story. As the election season approaches, Riara University's Electoral Commission has introduced a new system of voting called the Electoral College. The Electoral Commission organized a civic education program to inform students on how the election will be carried out under the new system. According to the new amendments, students will elect delegates who will form the Electoral College. The six schools, namely Law, Business, International Relations and Diplomacy, Education, Computer Science and Journalism, will be represented by not more than four students each in the Electoral College. This will add up to 24 delegates who will elect school representatives for the rest of the students. It's time for a short break. We will be back with more news making headlines. Sharon, baby, baby. Ah, ata ni meshuka mat to size. Ni pateka 5-10 minutes even takwa po. Na I hope many pick your foot poa. Yo, si Jali, your tongue will be speaking. Where is Jali? Where come through? Stop. Aya, stop, basi. Thank you. 
Everyone, you did with me. Welcome. Step inside. I hope you brought your appetite. I can't do any more, but I'm back. It seems Nairobi fan lovers were spoiled for choice as the entertainment was unlimited in the weekend. Jamaican reggae maestro Oman Riley, popularly known as Taras Riley, thrilled his Kenyan fans with a memorable performance this Mashuja Day at the KICC. He joined thousands of Kenyans in celebrating their heroes during his fourth visit to the country. The Taras performance kicked off minutes after midnight and lasted almost three hours. He also brought to stage Kenya's very own Ziki, where they performed their collab Kamata. Other acts were reggae icon Everton Blender, Gravity Band, MC Philip, MC Tiagas, also known as Baba Dede, and Talia Oyando the reggae queen who kept the crowd alive before the main act. Reporting for Irene News, my name is Kwame Jo. The Kistrek International Poetry Festival is a poetry and art event bringing together international art content creators. It was pioneered by Dr. Christopher Okemwa, an award-winning author and lecturer at Kisi University. This year's event was held at Riera University. It was graced by Deputy Israeli Ambassador Mr. Eyal David, a Literature Nobel Prize nominee, Sona Van, Dr. Molly Joseph, an award-winning writer and poet, who also launched two books and donated several copies of a book to our university, and local music artists, poets, and authors. Reporting for Irene News, my name is Kwama Jo. Globally acclaimed American jazz performers Diane Reeves and Marcus Miller headlined the Safaricom Jazz Festival. The event marked the beginning of the 2018-2019 season of the Safaricom Jazz Festival. The festival was a great way to celebrate jazz. Nothing accompanies great music like great food. It was an all-you-can-eat buffet. The festival was a three-day festival that was filled with fun, music and laughter. Masikabira reporting for Ari News. We are now joined with Brian Kavalaji for the sports news. Good evening and welcome to Ari News sports segment. My name is Brian Kavalaji. We are a university's football team as the match victorious at the recently concluded Football Kenya Federation's Nairobi West Sub County Tournament. Riara University Football Club are a true epitome of the phrase, from grass to grace. The team joined the Football Kenya Federation League for the first time this year. This is after they previously participated in the university's league. They since remained at the top, playing a total of 14 matches, winning 12, losing 1, and drawing 1. The captain had this to say. Uh, as per now, the, pro the progress of the team we qualified to the county league are uh, matched number one in the sub county region. Despite their victory, Riara University Football Club had their fair share of challenges. Owen Makoha, a proud coach, had this to say. This team was started uh, three years ago. We've been struggling, but uh, finally, uh, this year we've been able to break the duct, whereby uh, we registered the FKF League. Masikabiria reporting for Ari News. Harambe Stars has boosted their chances of qualifying for the 2019 African Cup of Nations to be held in Cameroon. In a packed up Kasarani Stadium, the Kenyan national team took the lead through Michael Olunga's deflected shot. Twenty-five minutes into the game, the Warrior Antelopes found themselves trailing after Eric Joanna's screamer from 16 yards out. Harambe Stars captain and Spurs midfielder Victor Wanyama hammered the last nail on the coffin from the penalty spot 
after following Johanna inside the penalty area. Under fire Manchester United manager Jose Mourinho has managed to keep his job intact after a stale draw at Stanford Bridge. Antonio Rudiger got the lead for Chelsea 21 minutes into the game after Williams' corner found him and Mark. Oh, Anthony Marshall stepped up to get United back into the game in the 55th minute after one matters deflected shot got to him 10 yards out. In this second half, he put Chelsea in the real. 18 minutes later, the Frenchman once again beautifully slotted the ball into the back of the net. Said Manchester United needed more quality in wide areas. And they... It seemed that Manchester United were taking all the three points home. However, Ross Barkley was there to deny them. Ross Barkley, he's the one that follows it in. That is all from the sport world. Thank you for watching. That is all from us for now. Thank you for tuning in.